Hey guys, this is Peter and today I've got something pretty great for you. I'm going to show you the fastest 5G piece of equipment that I've ever tested. I tested it about two weeks ago, but it was embargoed, so I didn't tell you the name of it or I could I show you what it looked like, but now I can show you what it looks like uh, and tell you who it's from. This is from Elsus. Elsus, it's called the Elsus Amplimax Ultra. It's a 5G modem that goes outside and it has a 5G modem that's built into a 4x4 MIMO and the whole thing is powered over Ethernet. So and I'm not no longer am I tethered to a 30 foot cable in order to get my antennas from my radio. I can put the whole thing outside and travel not 30 feet but 300 feet. Much better solution, much more flexibility in getting uh, your signals outside and being able to point directly at the tower. This uh, modem has some features in it that I've never seen before. And let me just go through some of them real quick. This has a brand new Snapdragon processor, which makes it really fast. It also has a modem in it that's uh, it's the uh, Quactel, uh, and that is the 520. Excellent modem right now. And that's built into it as well. It is um, very, very fast. And let me show you this one. This is a little button that's on the unit itself. It's called Easy Install. When you push it, it starts beeping. It'll start beeping at the towers. And just like a metal detector, the frequency of the beeps will increase as you're pointing right at it. And when you beep, 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 when you get it pointed just perfectly, it'll beep at its highest frequency. That's when you tighten down the screws, you're pointed right at the tower. Super easy to use, no knowledge necessary, and it has another great feature I've never seen before. Let me show you this. I'm getting 98% frequency or signal strength, uh, and you can also do a blind search. There we go. Right from the unit itself, you can do a blind search, and that will allow you to scan T-Mobile, Verizon, AT&T, even without a SIM, and check out what the best provider in your area is. As a person that's going to install this for somebody else, that would be a great thing. You don't have to wonder which one or bring three cards. You'll just be able to tell your best signal is going to be T-Mobile, sir, or it's AT&T or Verizon. There you go. You, knowledge is power. That's pretty great. I also love the way they decided to sell this. This is a very technical piece, and you may have some questions. They've got a real reseller, and I like this guy. It's uh, Haven Technologies or thewirelesshaven.com. Richard over there is out of Tennessee, and he will ship you the product, and he stands behind it. When you get a, uh, a receipt from Richard, he will email it to you, uh, but then it has his phone number on it. So keep that private. That's for customers only. Uh, he wants to support all of his customers directly. So, uh, of course, Elsa stands behind it, but they're a Brazilian company. I'm glad that they tapped a reseller that has a lot of knowledge. Richard knows this stuff inside and out, and you may want his help to, hey, how do I configure this for Verizon? Or how do I configure it to work with my T-Mobile card? He'll help you out. So that is fantastic. It's $6.99, which is not a bad price, considering it's the fastest modem I've, already, I've ever used, and it's an 4x4 MIMO antenna as well. Heretofore, I've been taking $400, $500, uh, even $600 modems and hooking them up to a $400 antenna. So that would be exactly the same thing. $400 with $400 is $800. I've done solutions that were $800 to $1,000. This one's complete at $699. And if you click on it, he doesn't even have, he has some free shipping options in the U.S. And also there's no tax. I said, hey, Richard, are you sure there's no tax? And he goes, I don't have to charge you tax. You're in a different state. So uh, it's perfect. $6.99 out the door. I'm liking that. Um, pretty darn great. So when you get it, you will be able to put it into different modes like bridge mode. And it does have a bridge mode. And you're still able to access it using a static address and you don't have to go reconfigure it. And I'm plugged into my, my uh, router as well. I can add, ask, access them at the same time. I don't have to disconnect things. Really great. One of the nicest things I like about putting this unit into bridge mode, connection understood, bridge mode, I'm already in bridge mode, and I can still access it, and it's gonna grab the IP address from T-Mobile and allow me to go to advanced, advanced, sign in, advanced. There is an option for DDNS. 
DVNS, if you watched my channel before, we're able to solve the carrier grade NAT issue and be able to serve things and use that up speed that we're getting is so amazing using something like no IP. This works beautifully. I like the fact that it's a modem only. Or I, I can actually put it in modem only mode. It can be a router. It can do all of the, the stuff if you just plug it in. But if you want Wi-Fi, you want to, of course, plug it into your Wi-Fi solution. My Wi-Fi solution happens to be the Netgear Orbi. It is a mesh system. It covers my house very nicely. I don't want to be given one by T-Mobile. I want a better solution. And it allows me to do that. So whether you have a firewall or a mesh system or a favorite router for gaming, this will do a beautiful job. Let's go ahead and do a little test real quick. I'm gonna show you what it's like. So it gets good download speeds and upload speeds. I have it configured as a 5G SA, which is standalone, we need two 5Gs married together. It's known for slightly less uh, download speed, uh, but it'll be more upload speed. So it's a nice balance of the two. I'm pulling some 650s right now, and that's not bad. I just pulled a 40 millisecond ping. That's not terrible. My kids are gaming with it right now. And I'm going to get like 140 up, which is just crazy. Fantastic. If you're working from home and you want to be able to, uh, you know, get on a Zoom call or get on a Teams call and you want some good connection, that's more than enough. In fact, when you back up your PC, uh, you know, to the cloud, this works so beautifully because you're going to like 20 megabytes per second absolutely great so this is a wonderful solution i can manage it quite easily using ip addresses that are already set up i don't have to watch my own videos in order to administer this thing and i get some of the the best speeds i've ever gotten before and the whole thing is supported here in the u.s by the reseller that is fantastic so richard also sold my favorite one here to four was the invisigig I was using the Invisigig, which is a $600 modem with, uh, had great antennas on the box already, but I hooked it up to my, my waveform antenna with a 30 foot cable, beautiful antenna. Uh, and I was getting some great scores. This actually beats it and it's at $699. It beat a thousand dollar solution. That is just aces. What great scores. And, uh, I've been tickled with it. Uh, he is getting some of these in. So he already has one that he's been testing. I think he has 50 more on the way. They're going to go quickly. But uh, I think he's going to start shipping them out. I think he's going to say two weeks. But I, he might even be able to get out a little bit sooner. So go ahead, sign up for one. And uh, let me know what you think, guys. I think you're going to be tickled pink. This is great. Oh, I opened it up because I wanted to see what's inside. What are you looking for? You're looking for quality. You're looking for ownership. And I found exactly that. It looks really nice inside. You can see that there's multiple PCBs. They're all signed by ELSIS. This is an ELSIS designed unit. Nobody else makes anything like this. ELSIS has been a leader in outdoor ODUs, outdoor uh, units. And uh, they've sealed them well. They have really great grommets and um, Guess what? You just put a SIM card in there and uh, configure it right, and you're off to the races. You're going to be getting better scores than with the equipment that T-Mobile gave you, that Verizon gave you, than Comcast gave you. You can configure these things, and Richard will be there to support any questions that you have. If you have pre-sales questions, you can always reach out to him. Info at thewirelesshaven.com. And, uh, of course, once you're a customer of his, you get a phone number. Please don't put that phone number on Reddit or anywhere weird. It's just for his customers so that he can support you as well as possible. There you go, guys. I enjoy talking to Richard. I think he's uh, really smart and knows this stuff inside and out. And uh, there you go. Go ahead and grab one and uh, let me know what you think. Anyway, guys, I'm going to do more videos on this and setting it up. I want to show you how to do that pointing mode. In fact, I'm going to take it out into the wilderness and try it out myself in various places. Uh, oh, I did want to talk about what it comes with. It comes with all this stuff. So there's a bracket that where you can wall mount it. You can also pole mount it, and then you don't need that wall mount. You can, uh, it comes with a power over ethernet little brick. It looks kind of like the modem. And it says LAN on one side, and that takes a short cord and goes to over to your router or your access point, your bridge, anywhere. 
And the other one that says Amplimax, that takes the longer cable. They give you almost a 50 foot cable that goes outside up the pole and well, supports the, the modem, gives it power. So that's how you get power over ethernet. It's by plugging it in. Pretty good idea, works beautifully. The different straps they give you, the, I was wondering about the plastic straps. The plastic straps are just to hold it in place while you hit the button and get it to point right at the perfect tower. And then it, you can tighten up the, the uh, metal straps at your le leisure. And then of course you can take the plastic straps off. You don't need them anymore. But uh, I kind of liked being able to set it up that way, getting it all pointed in, and then be able to have both hands free in order to get that metal strap on. Pretty cool stuff. Anyway, guys, hey, thanks so much for watching. Oh, there's the pole mount. Richard even took some pictures of it mounted to the pole. And uh, that little grommet is uh, pretty cool. Uh, I even have a picture of how that all fits together so that you can fit any standard Ethernet cable in it. Because as I mentioned, it comes with a 50-foot cable, 49.2 feet. But uh, you can go up to 300 feet. And how do you get there? You can just go to this page. Bing! You look at the supply voltage down at the bottom. Right now it's at about 19.9. And you just make sure it stays above, oh, 12 or so. And, uh, and Richard will have that number. It's like either 9 or 12. And you can know that your modem is getting enough power. There you go, guys. Pretty cool stuff. This is the neatest modem that I've ever seen because it pulls scores exactly like this. See you in the next one, guys. Talk to you soon.